Hello and Namaste, this is Mihari Amalimogra and welcome back to IT Help. Today I'm here with uh, MI4A dual band Wi-Fi router. In this video, I will show you the basic configuration of it and the feature that comes with it. Without doing delay, let's uh, jump into the configuration part of it. Uh, first, open up any browser that you have and browse the uh, admin portal of routers with its uh, default gateway that is 192.168.31.1 actually it is very easy to uh, do basic configurations because setup wizard take you step by step and here we will follow the same so first uh, select the country I set the trauma and condition. So this will, the router has detected the internet. Hit the next button. Then after, set the uh, Wi-Fi name. And the password and if you want to make administrator password same as the your Wi-Fi password then just click on this button and hit the next button now we have configure the wireless name and password and this is the uh, our basic configuration summary 2.4 gigahertz and this is the 2.4 gigahertz SSID name password uh, 5 gigahertz SSID password and administrator password so now we have uh, done the basic configuration of MI router refresh this page actually this router can be Managed with the MI Wi Fi application that can, that is available in uh, Play Store and can search and download the applications by scanning QR code over here. Let me log into the router page. Okay, uh, this is the status page where you can see the basic uh, summary of this router. There are two uh, SSID. 2.4 and 5 gigahertz the name of the Wi-Fi here is the your router model software version Mac address and serial number this is the topology actually how it is connected right now so currently one device is connected on 2.4 gigahertz band so if you want to make changes on any band, just click on a respective band. If you want to make a change to 2.4 uh, gigahertz, then click on shade and th this will take you to the Wi-Fi setting page where you can change you can uh, you can change the things over here, right? Let's move on to the setting part. Wi-Fi setting. Currently, dual band is off. If you want to enable dual band, then just click on the enable this option. This will take thirty seconds. The same Wi-Fi name will be shown by, by both band two point four and five gigahertz. You will see the single band. After enabling dual band, it will switch to five. G band if your device is close uh, and switch to 2.4 gigahertz if your device is far away from this router so this is fairly good feature so after enabling dual band you will uh, you will have single SSID name uh, password and here is the setting for 2.4 gigahertz wireless channel and wireless strength and for 5 gigahertz here is the wireless channel and the wireless signal right now let's move on to the network setting part 
in this part uh, in the first tab you will see the information network information second one is network setting you can configure this router in three different connection type one is DHCP another is PPOA and another one is static IP address you can configure your router according to your according to your connection type that is provided by your service provider also you can configure the DNS automatically and manually currently my DNS is configured as automatically if you wish to configure it manually then just click on the configure DNS manually and set the DNS input speed Macron if you want to change if you want to change your MAC address then you can uh, make a change from here currently this route this device is uh, working as a router but if you want to uh, make it repeated uh, then you can switch the mode from here this is the security part also from you can maintain the access control access control uh, from access from uh, this is the a wireless access control you can whitelist or blacklist the device from from where you wish to access this device and you can change the uh, administrative password from this section now let's move on to the LAN setting port uh, DHCP server is enabled if you want to change uh, the LAN network then you can change here and you can define the starting IP, ending IP and lease time from here and here is the status in this section uh, you can check the firmware of router Route you can download the firmware, uh, sorry log uh, factory reset if you want to do factory reset then you can do from here and you can take your backup and restore the uh, configuration system language region and time you can change the time and the uh, time zone all right so let's move on to the advanced part this is the one of the uh, best feature that i see in this device you can uh, limit the uh, threshold opening uh, upload and download threshold of overall router and if you wish to set upload and download limit for a particular device connected device then you can do it from here so a smart uh, uh, for that you need to enable smart QS bandwidth allocation currently auto mode is selected equally but if you uh, are a game player or if you are of uh, you know video steamer then you can uh, change the whatever you like according to your requirement uh, see from here you can set the maximum download speed and upload speed for that just you need to click on edit and set the speed All right this is really cool feature Okay, you can each device is the you can configure it for each device. So currently two devices are connected. So see here are two devices connected, and here is the maximum uh, upload speed, download speed that I have configured. Okay. So this is really good feature. And if you want to assign a uh, static IP, then you can assign from here configure this DNS port forwarding port forwarding is is really useful because people are using uh, so many services in home as well so this will this this will really helpful um, to those people who are using different services at home so for this just give a uh, good name
so like this you can uh, forward the board VPN uh, if you have a VPN account then you can add this service from this tab only PPTB uh, VPN is supportable as of now so give a name and your uh, VPN server and username and password so now let's move on to ID snow feature this is UPNP status this is ID snow one also we can see here top right corner uh, you can also make a changes from here as well if you want to change your router name click on change router name if you want to upgrade your system firmware then you can change from here and if you want to download application on your mobile then just click on and you can reboot and sign off right this is the basic configuration of the mi 4 a router i think this is the really good device it has a good uh, coverage wireless coverage it has four antennas for wider uh, coverage thank you so much for watching this video hope you guys like this video if you have any uh, comments or any confusions or anything else that you want to ask then just write down in comment section below i will try my best to answer your all questions thank you